I'm Courtney Wagner, and this is In the Game. I'm here with the head coach of Bishop Kinney's baseball team, Mr. Tommy Edwards. Thanks so much for being here. Happy to be here. Thank you. So tell me, what got you started with baseball? Did you used to play, have a big passion for it? I did. I, I played, um, well, when I was growing up, we played all three sports. We played baseball, basketball, football, whatever season it was. Sure. And, uh, as the years progressed on and you get into high school, it's a little more difficult to do all three of them. And baseball was just the one that I fell in love with. And, Played all through high school, played in college, and you know, nice. did all that stuff. Where did you play in college at? In what position? I uh, played at University of Florida. Ah, the Gators. I'm a Seminole, but I, I won't okay. judge you for it. I <laughs> uh, played second base for them, yes. Yeah. Very so, nice. I've been involved with the game for a long, long time. That's fantastic, and I know you said you're a local from Jacksonville, and now you're carrying your experience over to Bishop Kenny. What got you interested uh, with getting in the school system here? Well, I actually went to school here. <laughs> oh my gosh, alumni I mean, and everything. Yeah, I, I played for Bob West. It's uh, he just retired a few years ago from the school. I've actually had the program. I had a chance to come back and coach with him for a lot of years, and then um, when he decided to get out of coaching, that's when I took over the program about 12 years ago. So I've, it, this, this school's been a part of my life for a long, long time. Sure. So, so you used to actually play baseball here in mm -hmm. high school, and now you are coaching baseball uh, here. Talk about a full circle. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's, it's pretty special. Yeah. And so what has changed, and I'm sure it might be a good bit of things, but since you were playing and now to the team you are coaching, kind of the dynamic, the structure, what, what's different? Not a whole lot. Okay. Really uh, you know, the game's the game. Exactly, yeah. which is nice. That yeah. doesn't change. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, you know, the kids, you know, are pretty much the same. Uh, they do specialize a little bit more nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, whereas I told you earlier that, you know, when I was growing up, we played all three sports and stuff. Right, and right. Even in high school, there was a lot of us that did do two sports at one time. Sure. And, uh, you know, nowadays kids, they, they specialize. And there's some where they'll, they'll tend to do something over a long period of time where we would play baseball and then we'd play basketball and football. Right. So they, they make it more of a... Of a year-round type. Thing. Right, especially too with all the travel tournaments and everything like that, it's hard to overcommit when they're so busy anyways. Uh, the travel thing has really exploded over the years and um, they go out and they play, they play pretty good baseball over the summer and such. So I'd, I'd say that's probably the biggest Absolutely, and I credit anyone who can embrace this Florida heat during summertime because right, it's right. not it easy. It is tough to endure, yeah, <laughs> definitely. What is your all's record now and what are your hopes for the playoffs? Uh, right now we're 17 and one. Uh, we're doing very pretty well. impressive. <laughs> we're doing very well. Um, the, we've got the number one seed in the district because we're all done with district play. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a uh, game tonight. We've got uh, three games in Tallahassee. Ah yes. Uh, we, play, we play Lincoln, Charles, and Pensacola Catholic's going to come over, and we're going to play them at Charles. So those are three really, really good games when we come back and we've got three tough games and then the district will start after that. So our main goal uh, initially is to go ahead and get that number one seed in the district, which sets you up uh, pretty well to sure. carry into the postseason. And we also host districts, so that's another plus. So. Definitely, home uh, advantage. Right. <laughs> if, we, if we continue doing what we're doing, I we had a lot of nice pieces to the puzzle, so to speak, and um, if we can continue to build on that, I think we could, we could make a run at it. Yeah, you know, sure. And it, once you get the postseason, everybody's zero, zero and zero, and it know, is. anything happens in baseball, and you got to hope that you know get a couple breaks and maybe a little good luck and let this thing play out and see what happens. Absolutely. Well, hey, starting off seventeen and one doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. At least your momentum going into right. the playoffs there. Right. And I know too, you all are partnered with the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. Tell me a little bit about that relationship. Oh, it's huge for me as a coach. It is absolutely. Huge. We've had Tim Wall with us. I've been I've known Tim Wall for 20 plus years, and uh, he's still hanging with us in the baseball, yes. on the varsity baseball. And uh, it is it's a huge relief for me as a head coach to have someone that's going to look after them from that aspect of it. Right. Because uh, it's very important. You know, you never want to put a, a, a young athlete in a situation that may hurt, and mm -hmm. um, not to be the one to make the decision. You know, I've got Tim that's going to guide me with right, situations right. like that, and you know, and I, we know each other so well. What he says goes, you know, whether they like it or not. They, not there's no game that important. To, you know, so. Exactly, health lasts way longer than any right, game. Right, especially if it's if it's a, a student athlete that's going to progress further. So, um, you know, it's just it's very very valuable to me to have him there. Uh, and, you know, 
mechanics and things of that yes. nature. He's very good at stuff like that. So he'll 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 whisper in my ear every so often. And know. <laughs> so, it's not like I almost like having another coach with me, but um, it, it's a it's a great partnership, and it's something that I'm uh, very thankful for. Sure, and I'm That's sure it's a relief as a head coach to not have to worry about playing doctor yourself about your players because you're focused on the game, and it's nice to have someone else taking the proper care There's of your no athletes. Question. No question whatsoever, and they even post game, you know, they'll jump right on, you know, icing a picture down or something like that, or sure. following up on a on a student athlete made tweak something or whatever where I'm trying to wrap up a game and summarize a game, they're, they're tending to those kids too. Yes. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's a very valuable thing for me. Definitely. Yeah. And it seems like too with the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute, it's not only a reactive treatment, they do a lot of proactive Active. treatment as well. Is there kind of a pre-game routine they do or? Uh, we don't do a whole lot of pre-game type mm -hmm. stuff. Now, pre-season stuff, pre -season. We'll, do. Okay. We'll, do, we'll do some things where they may come out, or Tim may come out, a good example is one of our arms this year, and he's noticed some mechanic thing that, that the kid, he could probably help the student. And, um, you know, then we start to take small steps because it's very difficult to make wholesale changes in mm -hmm. the season. So we'll just do tiny things, and then once we get the postseason into the next season, we'll try to build something to help that student athlete get a little bit better. So. Okay. And then being 17-1, and one, you obviously are leading your team to great things. What is your go-to advice you give your players before games? Just play the game. Just play Just it. Enjoy don't the game. It. Yeah, don't overthink it. Let it unfold in front of you okay. and react to it. And try to play all three aspects of the game as best you can. You know, swing the bats, pitch a little bit, play some defense. And, you know, not all three aspects in high school baseball are going to be present on every game. Right, so right. So you have to, you know, it, 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 you know, take the adversity that you deal with within a game and, and try to let it go as quickly as possible because in baseball, I mean, it's, you know, you go to the next play and you got to be ready, otherwise exactly. the ball's going to find you. Exactly. <laughs> if you made a mistake and you can't let it go, it's going to find you again. Exactly. So, you know, you just try to keep it simple. I like, like that. It's, 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 it's a ball game. Well, a simplistic approach seems to be working fantastic <laughs> for you all. Coach Edwards, we wish you all the best of luck with the rest Thank of your you season. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.